This is a tutorial to show how you can bring elements into Affinity Designer and use them to decorate and make a birthday card for a little girl. This was very simple to do in Craft Artist 2. We could bring our elements in, drag them onto the screen, resize them, rotate them. We could make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, you could design items for pod sites, a lot we could do. This is a discontinued program, so now let's see how we can do this in Affinity Designer. We're going to create a new artboard, bring in the elements for the birthday card, create the card background, bring the elements onto the card, and then we can either upload to a pod site or print and make it yourself. So let's create an artboard 5x7 to design our greeting card. We're going to File, New, 5x7, I already have this in and I have it in inches, at 300 dpi and I'm going to create the artboard. I'm not going to mess with the colors or anything else here. I'll leave them at RGB and I'll create. So now we have an artboard to design our card. Now let's create our background. I've created five backgrounds that match the blue of the little girl's dress. So let's see how they look. I'm just going to drag it in. So that's pretty cute. Let me delete that. And let's try the next one. Okay. Delete that. Try the next one. Okay, let's delete that one. <coughs> That's pretty cute. And let's look at the last one. I think I'm going to like this one. So now that I have that on there, I'm going to go to my color, select white, and I want to create an oval. So I'll click on the circle and draw out a white oval. Click on the... This will line up right in the middle. That looks good. Okay, that's the design I think I'm going with. I think I might make this a little bit wider though. Let me make sure that I still have it centered. Okay, that looks good. Next, we're going to create the assets to make up the design of this little girl's birthday card. So I'm going to go to Assets, and in the top burger menu, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to create a new category. It has created a new category, but it has named it Assets. We'd like to name it Little Girl Card. So we'll go up here and rename the category Little Girl Card. Okay. Let's 
Okay, it's named, renamed to by the category to Little Girl Card. Now we want to see about bringing in the assets to use in decorating. So let's move down to the subcategory of assets of the Little Girl Card. Click on that burger menu and first we want to go to our files and select the files that we would like to bring in and use as assets. We're going to drag them right onto the top of the card. And there they all are. So I'm going to select them. And I'm going to go click on the second burger and add from selection. Those are all the selections. Now that we have all the assets in our category, we'll start to bring them over and create our design. Let's bring the little girl. She'll be a little bit large, so I'm going to size her down. And kind of put her right there. That looks good. She has her little bunny, so let's bring him in. And put him over here to help her celebrate. She's got her hand up here, so let's see about putting a balloon in her hand. Let's try this red one. It's a little bit large, so let's size it down just a little. Put it in her hand, size it down a little more. There we go. Now let's see about happy birthday. I've got three in here. So let's see which one we might want. I'm going to have to resize this one because it's giant. Okay, that one. Size this one down. I don't know which one I'd like. Let's try this one. Yep, that looks pretty cute. It's a cute card. But let's move this. Bring this down a little bit. Yeah, that one's cute too. And this one. Hmm. Not sure. I think I might like this one. Yeah, I think I like that one. So I'll just delete these. But they're still here in my assets panel anytime I want to use them. Also have a little bouquet of flowers. Stack of gifts. This uh, watercolor background to put behind her. Which I don't think I care to use this time. And then there are some other different colored balloons. So there's your little girl card. Now that our card is finished, we can either upload this to a pod site and sell it as a greeting card, or we can make it to where we can print the card and sell the printed card that we print or print it for ourselves. For that, I've designed a template for you to put your card on. So over here, we're going to go to our card. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to export this as a JPEG so that we can use it in print. So I'm going to go to File, Export, JPEG. That'll be 1500 pixels by 2100 pixels. And I'm not going to do the artboard. I'm going to do the whole document and export. And let's just put it, call it little girl birthday
Then we're going to go to the template that I designed for you. And this will be available to download a link in the description, along with a link to download the backgrounds that I designed. And uh, now let's bring that card in. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to find it. And then I'm just going to drag it in. And as I move it up, it's going to snap to those lines. Then when I print it, I'll cut it out with scissors or a paper cutter, which would be better, and fold it on this line. And then you can write in the inside your greeting, or you can sell this as a printed card someone else can use. And that is our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.